Welcome to I don't fucking know what part of episode two, probably like uh four or five. Hey, that's my personal property. <sighs> Sure, go ahead. Do what comes naturally. Tell me about the book. You haven't got the slightest clue about anything. Hey. No, I don't want to hit him. Cut the crap, Georgie. I want the book Hans is talking about. Hans is confused. Again. It's evidence. It's bullshit. Hans is just a good guy. Don't even think about it. In the wrong place. Look, Georgie. It's illegal to destroy his property. The book is. Can we please not go round and round about this? There's no book. End of story. Bull fucking shit. Do not touch that. You hear me? Last morning. There's still time for you to just cough it up. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but there's no Andy Magic book with everything you want to know jotted down inside. I sincerely wish there was. Maybe it would get you off me back. Ah, there it is. What's in here then? Well, well, what's this? Looks like a floor safe. Uh, I wouldn't know. It was here when we moved in. I don't have a key to it. Sheriff, will you come on? Fuck's sake, I've got to open up in a few hours. Give it to me. You're a big bad bastard. We get it. Everyone's guilty. We fucking get it. I'm recording. You're killing me. Stop. I'm begging you. I'll pay you. Two women are dead. Then quit being a bloody idiot. Leave it. There's nothing there for you. I'm. You might want to stand back. All right, all right, all right. See, just talking got us through it. All we had to do was talk. We got through it. Bloody come on, men. Here we go. I have to destroy anything. Hey. Once again, don't <coughs> could have been worse. There's nothing in here that'll tell you anything. But it's a kick to the balls for me and my club, so we can be happy about that. Mm-hmm. There's nothing in there. I'll see about that, if you insist. Here. This is Lily's last entry. So tell me, Georgie, who's this Mr. Smith? I'm afraid it might be a fake name, Bigby. Secrecy is sort of how this all works. Even Hans knows that. What's 207? Room number? I don't fucking know. Millimeters, maybe? Don't bullshit me, Georgie. This is your book. Your girl. I'm not their fucking secretary. I give them a stage. I give them music. I provide an erotic venue to attract and retain clients. But let's be clear on something. The girls make the arrangements with their clients, not me. The girls. They're the ones with the Mr. Smiths, and Joneses, and Mr. X types. Whatever happens outside the club, that's on them. I log the business, take my cut, and I'm out. Now, that's pretty fucked up. quite enough of you and your bullying, excuse me while I call your superiors to make a complaint. Yeah, I could have broken shit. Hello, business office. He's not stopping me. Actually, speaking of copies, um, did you know my uh, channel is Newt17 because in fifth grade my copy box was 17. And, um, I mean, I went into that year hating the number 17, but I left loving the number 17. Box been busted open. Mm hmm. It's just new because um. Open, but there isn't even a lock. 
I know a writer, and, um, well, I am a writer. I was gonna lie. Um, and I have a character who's nicknamed Newt. <coughs> There we go, Newt 17. <coughs> Faith, thanks for covering for me tonight. Let's talk before you go over to the apartment. Lily. Looks like they both saw one of Lily's clients. Take that, it's evidence. Can't I take it? It's evidence. It's really not evidence, but whatever. It's not super important. I heard you out there. I don't remember ever seeing you here before. I didn't have a reason to come here before. Yeah. Kind of fucked up. I yeah. You're trying to place me. They used to call me the Little Mermaid. Once upon a time. Does that help? What do they call you now? Whatever makes them happy. That's just fucked up. My name is Narissa. Well, Narissa. I've got some questions. Of course you do. I don't have answers. You'll have to find those yourself. I need to know about one of Lily's uh, clients. Calling himself Mr. Smith, apparently. We can't talk about work. This is a murder case. I mean can't. These lips are sealed. Discretion is our guarantee. Oh my god. It's how things work here. By design. People keep using those phrases. What does it mean? This is what I need to know about. Lily's last entry. Who's Mr. Smith? Where's room 207? I have to know. These lips... Sheriff Wolf, would you like to make an appointment with me? I just want to know. What are you suggesting? We could make all the usual arrangements, the usual place. Alright, so I don't know what, does she mean like we're going to do something dirty or like she's going to give me some information? I don't get it. I don't get it. We could do all the usual arrangements in the usual place. Like, uh, I don't know what the fuck that, the usual, which means like what they usually do here, which is like dirty stuff. But I don't know why she would just be like, appointment? I don't know. Uh, I see. What would I need to do? I think I see. Fifty. It's not good to be short. Do I have any money? Okay. Oh, I. Uh, I don't. Wait here for a second. So I don't think it's gonna be something dirty. I think she's gonna give me information. <coughs> but I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not 100%. Not 207? You'll think of something. Open arms. Hmm. This is where they met. Enjoy your stay. I hope 
you find what you're looking for. What was going on there? Want it by the hour or for the whole night? Oh, um, you. I work here, okay? I work the front desk. It's to help pay rent. So now you know. I know I should have told somebody, but Beast would lose his mind if you knew. You should really tell Beast. He's worried about you. I will, I will. I just need to in my own time. By the way, thanks for covering for me. So, what are you doing here? Oh, you have a key. Someone else was murdered last night. I heard. The victim was someone who worked at the Pudding and Pie. Lily, she, uh, come around here ever? Oh, oh, yes, the, the troll. I did see her. I mean, you know, we never really spoke, but... She came off a tad intimidating. Ever see Lily with someone here? Maybe on a Sometimes, but nobody I recognized. I haven't worked here that long, though. How about a room register? Or someone named Mr. Smith? <laughs> That's all we get here. Smiths, Jones, or Johnsons. I think the last ones are jokes. Somebody glamoured as her. You know, it's funny. I did see someone who I thought looked a lot like her, but she didn't say anything when she saw me, even though she knew that I saw her. I just assumed it wasn't snow and went about my business. Maybe a girl named Faith? Or just maybe hear that name? I might have. I don't know. By the end of the night, it's, it's kind of a blur with all the names. Tara, Brandy, Amber, Heather... Sorry. I talked to Tweedledee earlier today. He mentioned you in passing. Do you know him? Or his brother? I took out a loan. For back pay. It was like our third notice. And ever since then, those annoying freaks have been pestering me for the money, plus interest. Why take out a loan from those two? It was from the crooked... You don't know how desperate I was, Bigby. I had nowhere else to go. Look, if this ever happens again, come see me or Snow first, all right? I tried. Oh. <laughs> Thanks. Wait. It'll be better if anyone sees you, that they at least see you with me, so they know that I didn't let you just wander around by yourself. Five minutes, please. We'll see, beauty. Just be ready to act like I'm trying to kick you out. That won't be hard. Listen, Bigby. I assume you'll be filing some kind of an official report or something. Which is fine, it's just that I was wondering if I need to be in it. Do you have to mention my name? I mean, it's it's not like Beast would ever see your report. It's just... 
damage. Not much of a report.